Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Being Wendy. My name is Wendy, aka Mama Dana, and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and anything that I feel like telling you guys about. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified anytime I post a video. So today this video is going to be a bit different from what you're used to. It's more like a vlog or some sort. I'm just I was really in my feelings and today I was like, let me just show people what I will do in a bad day because today has not been the best. It's actually morning, but it's very gloomy. Um, I don't feel like doing anything, but I have to do stuff because I can't keep procrastinating and not doing things. So, yes. So, um, I slept late last night. If I sleep past midnight, most probably the next day won't be as good. That's how I'm just wired because... If I'm sleeping for sweet nights, especially on a Friday, because I want to just, you know, watch a movie and just, you know, wake up really late on Saturday. However, sometimes it's inevitable, especially if I sleep late because I wasn't feeling sleepy. That's a problem. If I'm sleeping late doing work, fine. But if I'm sleeping late just doing nothing, I just maybe gazing or looking at my phone or just looking for something to do, that's a problem on my part. Give me a sec. Yeah, so um, when I woke up today, I wasn't really feeling it. I woke up at 9 a.m. because I slept really late. And then um, I was woken up at 7 by the kids. That's how I just knew, okay, now this is going to be a legit bad day. And then when I was done, I took them downstairs and I came back up. I tried to sleep. I woke up at 9. Had my breakfast and then just came to my room because I really needed a safe space to, you know, think and declutter my head and just be in a good space to be able to take on this day and be a bit productive. However, my child was always was following me around the whole morning and I felt like I was gonna I was gonna lose my mind. Cause she wants this, she wants that, she wants this. As in it's like they sense when you're in a bad mood and that's when they just want to keep working. And that's what happened. So um what I will show you next is what I did. But I, I actually started shooting a bit late. So the first thing I actually did was put on a podcast and i listened to um preaching by pastor steven fortick and Furik farik okay i'll just write his name down here from elevation church and his preaching was about um this is not what i expected like you had an image of what you wanted and that's just when you're there it's not what you expected so i was like oh this, this really resonates with how I was feeling at that moment. So it really lifted me up. And that's why I'm able to even shoot this video right now. Otherwise, maybe my moods don't allow me to do such things. However, I hope I will see you um, after you've seen whatever you're seeing next. And yeah, let's just see what I did. She looks at you and I lose my mind, mind. It drives me crazy to hear you talk about her baby Now I see why Sauti yake anapongea Akisonga na akitembea ni kamandege She is a fire skull in a Nanina Weevu. She is a fire skull in a
human now hey. She's a bubble of character I keep at her ways I catch her Quacky baby ni kama umedata But I cry Pick me please Sauti yake anapogea Akisonga na akitembea ni kama ndege Sauti yake anapogea Akisonga na akitembea ni kama ndege She is the flyest girl in Nairobi Um, so what I actually did was that it's really simple, it's really basic, but it really gets me into a good space. When I declutter my space and I just clean it out and make it very neat, I get, I can even think, I don't know how, how it creates, however, maybe we can do more research on the scene. But for now, that's how I just start. I declutter, I shower, I feel fresh, so that I'm in a fresh space, so that it's like I'm working up again. Because if I start saying, okay, I'll start again tomorrow, and so on and so forth, this whole day is wasted, and we're not going to recover. And I have so much to do. Right now, um, what you've just seen, I started, um, the last parts, I was um, uh, using my laptop and my book. So what I was doing actually is, Planning out my week because I didn't do that yesterday because we had guests. We had guests and then when they left Tuesday, I had to plan for today's show. So if you do not know yet, I do have a show every morning. It's called Alu Radio. So it's www.alugrp.com forward slash radio forward slash Alu Radio. I will put the link down below so you guys can listen to my shows every morning. I talk about all things and everything that I may not really talk about on this platform on YouTube. And in a more um, researched, in-depth manner because um, I have three hours in the morning. So I wait, uh, my show starts at 6 to 9 a.m. So yeah, that's just how it is. I prepare really, I um, have to prepare in advance to be able to just, you know, clear my head and so on and so forth. So what I was doing, I was planning out my week and then um, I want to write down the content I have to be shooting this week. Because I have, I normally have like a lot of content comes in my head, so I always just write it down. So to execute it, I have to plan for it and plan how it's going to be shot and on what days and things like that. Because I'm doing Instagram, I'm doing TikTok, I'm managing a few Instagram pages. So I really need to put my things down and be able to just think through my stuff before I shoot and then um, think about what I'll be talking about through the week the morning shows and then um get into my books so this is a bit late normally i would have done it like on saturday sunday so that um on monday i just wake up knowing what to do however what i'm just here to tell you is that some days are going to be bad and there's nothing we can do about it we can't just have amazing days every day we can't always be on schedule every day we can try but it's probably not going to happen every single day however when you fail keep trying when you feel like okay fine today's not a good day try do what makes you happy so for me what makes me really in a good space is when i shower and my room is neat and i plan my things i feel so organized because i'm really a planner i don't like doing things um impromptu at least not since i became a mom so right now i know what i want to do for the rest of the day and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you've learned something from this video i hope i have motivated you to want to do better i know quarantine we have a few more weeks to go let's say around three and it can be disheartening you don't know what to do for the next three weeks and so on and so forth but there's something that's always been on your mind that you've not done through quarantine before this is the time take up that book take up the laptop take up that um you know your phone check on youtube how it's done try on it i don't know do something but yeah, so this week we're actually going to just feel the fear and do it anyway. As usual, that's what we do every single day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And we're almost at 4,000 subscribers and I'm really super excited. When we get to 5k, I'll have like a huge giveaway. But for now, keep subscribing, keep watching my channel. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Keep, uh, we have uh, lives. If you don't know, we do Friday lives every single Friday. We started uh, two weeks ago. So we've done two Fridays. So this week, there's another one planned out. Poster will be up by Wednesday, God willing. And then we will 
see how it goes share with your friends my instagram is becoming really uh, exciting let's make youtube as exciting right um, yeah bye <laughs>